As the potential enemy's anti-ship firepower grows more lethal, the United States Navy must stay one step ahead in its anti-air warfare capabilities. The new threat upgrade combat system, NTU, will be a major factor in helping to provide that margin of safety. The NTU combat system gives the fleet a high quality air picture in both clear and electronic countermeasure environments, increases the firepower of Terrier and Tartar class ships, and achieve significantly higher kill probability for high altitude and diving targets. The NTU combat system consists of a triad of subsystems. Detection, command and control, and engagement. The detection subsystem is composed of the new AN-SPS-48E three-dimensional weapon control air search radar, the modified AN-SPS-49 Victor V two-dimensional long-range air search radar, and the integrated automatic detection and track system known as SIS-2. The two radar systems extend the detection range and enhance performance in countermeasures environments. SIS-2 is a data processing system. It correlates radar data to provide unduplicated tracks to the Navy tactical data system for threat processing and to the weapon direction system for target engagement. Because SIS-2 minimizes manual operations and supplies extremely accurate track data, the combat system's reaction time is sharply reduced. The command and control subsystem has been significantly upgraded. The upgrade includes the AN-YUK Yuk-43 computer. The new subsystem supports an engageability queue of targets based on target location, predicted movement, and the capabilities of the engagement system. In addition, this subsystem coordinates weapon systems organic to the ship, such as real-time coordination of missile and fighter engagements, guns, and anti-submarine warfare systems. The engagement subsystem is the third element changed by the NTU program. These modifications improve knowledge of the target's locations, motion, and operating environment, and maximize the number of target missile encounters. For testing and training, the Radar Environment Simulator System, RES, provides real-time stimulation to the NTU combat system. It simulates all of the returns which radar operators and combat system team members will encounter in modern anti-air warfare. These returns include hostile and friendly aircraft, missiles, IFF and ECM jamming, weather, and clutter. RES furnishes training that is directly transferable to the real-world AAW environment that is not affordable through live exercises or actual combat engagements. The improvements brought about by the NTU combat system permit even more lethal performance by its primary ammunition, Standard Missile 2, Block 2. SM-2 Block 2 features a number of significant improvements. These include improvements in propulsion, signal processing, target detection, and warhead kill probability. The improved propulsion provides increased thrust. Greater missile velocities enhance the capability of intercepting high altitude, high velocity, and maneuvering targets. A computer on board the missile improves guidance and control, permitting greater maneuverability with larger angles of attack. A new warhead increases lethality. The NTU program started with the firing of developmental missiles. The success of these SM-2 missiles provided the incentive to develop the combat system to support this new missile concept. The NTU combat system was assembled and tested at the Applied Physics Laboratory's land-based test site in Laurel, Maryland. Integration testing was completed in 1981. 
This equipment was then installed in USS Mahan at the Charleston Naval Base. At sea testing was accomplished in accordance with CNO Project 547-623 test procedures. Upon completion of the development test program, COMOPTEV-4 conducted operational tests. These resulted in approval of full production for the combat system and limited production of the SM-2 Block II ER missile. Afterward, Mahan deployed to the Mediterranean, where she served as the eyes of the 6th Fleet. Later, she teamed up with USS Ticonderoga and her Aegis combat system. Aegis and NTU complement each other. The presence of the two systems in the battle group forces the enemy to spread energy used for jamming over a wide spectrum of bandwidths, rather than being able to concentrate the energy on a single frequency. When Mahan returned from deployment, follow-on test and evaluation, FOT and E, of the SM-2 Block II missile was successfully completed. Achieved in a stringent chaff and jamming environment, the successes justified production approval of the SM-2 Block II missile. The NTU combat system can be backfitted into all surface-to-air missile cruisers for a modest price and within an acceptable time frame to keep the fleet up to date. In fact, with the NTU combat system installed, cruisers delivered in the mid-1960s will be capable of engaging and defeating the ever-changing threat into the 21st century. NTU, the new threat upgrade system, helping the United States Navy keep one step ahead of the enemy in the never-ending job of preserving our freedom.